Hi everyone. Welcome to another video by Chintar. I am Rajdeep and today we we'll look at a problem about polynomials uh from the famous book uh The Test of Mathematics at a 10 plus 2 level. Uh it's also sometimes belovedly called Tomato and it's a very popular book among people in the ISI CMI mathematical circles. And today we we'll look at a problem from there. which uses a very clever application of transforming polynomials uh to get the the roots we wanted to have and then using a very clever application of vietas theorem as well so let's get into it so here is the problem that's from test of mathematics 10 plus 2 that this is problem 272 from the book and it says that if alpha beta and gamma Are the roots of this polynomial x cube plus two x square plus three x plus three is equal to zero? Then the value of this expression is what? As usual, uh, pause the video and try it on your own. Wait. So I hope you've tried the problem and noticed that. if not thought about properly there's a major computation task here in particular how would you find something like alpha by alpha plus 1 that alone is not possible what vieta will tell you is how to combine these things in particular vieta will tell you what alpha beta gamma alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha and alpha b- plus beta plus gamma r this is what vieta would tell you so you would have to uh well you would have to multiply all these together uh take a product of things and it will it will get really messy it might be possible to go along that route but it will be quite messy so maybe you can go down that path but you want to solve this problem in a nice clever way first thing that i want to do whenever i see a sum of cubes is try to use the famous formula which is a cube plus b cube plus c cube Minus three a b c is equal to a plus b plus c into a square plus b square c square minus a b minus b c minus c. This is a famous formula that many students learn at a middle school level. It is particularly useful in this kind of a situation because a b c is already given to us. more or less even in this convoluted form if i want to you know introduce this term uh I- i'll just get 3 alpha beta gamma by alpha plus 1 beta plus 1 gamma plus 1 which is actually not very hard so what you would do is you would just do minus this and then plus this and then calculate it separately and deal with this part using this factor here so that's step 1 or i don't want to do is deal with these guys alone so what i want to do is instead of working with this thing directly i'll consider a polynomial so i'll consider polynomial rather construct one whose roots are alpha by alpha plus 1 beta by beta plus 1 and gamma by gamma plus 1 because then that would be very helpful at that stage so how do i do something like this the thing to notice is that what is the what is the converse operation so you know this is like a transformation right sending uh alpha to alpha by alpha plus 1 how do i reverse this the answer is using this so it's kind of it's like you could do this on your own as well it's like if the point is that if if a is equal to x by x plus 1 what is x in terms of say and you'd see that it's actually uh well x is equal to a by 1 minus it so that that's the inverse process right what i'm trying to say is if i could if i could somehow consider the polynomial these are inverse the inverse operations in some sense so in particular if i consider the polynomial the polynomial it's not really a polynomial but we make it one p of x by 1 minus x if i call this thing rx then r of alpha by alpha plus 1 is equal to p of and let's plug it in let's see what happens alpha by alpha plus 
by 1 minus alpha by alpha plus 1. Right, what is this? You just do the calculation. This is exactly P of alpha, but since alpha is a 0, of, this is equal to 0. So alpha by alpha plus 1 is a 0 of R. Right? So essentially, I want to consider this thing, P of x by 1 minus x. Unfortunately, this is not a polynomial. That's okay. We make it one. It's very simple. This P of x is a cubic, right? You'll do ax cube plus dx square, the yada yada, right? It's a cubic polynomial. What happens when I plug in x by 1 minus x in this? I just have these 1 minus x cube, 1 minus x square terms lying around. Right? How do I make this a polynomial? Simple. I just multiply it out. I just considered this. 1 minus x whole cube. I just multiply it. This is a polynomial, which is still 0 at alpha by alpha plus 1, beta by beta plus 1, gamma by gamma plus 1. Right? But it's also a polynomial. So now we can use the polynomial methods. So, let qx be the polynomial. And now I can say it's a polynomial, right? 1 minus x cube times p of x by 1 minus x. Right? Let's see what this is. This is 1 minus x cube into, let's look at what the polynomial was, was x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x plus 3. So we'll get x by 1 minus x whole cube plus 2 into x by 1 minus x square, right? Plus 3 into x by 1 minus x plus 3. So when I multiply it out, I get x cube again plus 2 into x square into 1 minus x, right? Plus 3 into uh, x into 1 minus x whole square plus 3 into 1 minus x cube. If you expand it out and collect the terms again, the cubic you will get is minus x cube plus 5x square minus 6x plus 3. It's not much work at all. You can do this. Now what do we have? So qx... This is very nice, right? Qx is this simple looking polynomial. The property that has roots alpha by alpha plus 1, beta by beta plus 1, and gamma by gamma plus 1. I'll call these capital A, capital B, capital C for my convenience. Why is this the case? Why does it have these roots? Because Qx is actually this thing. When I plug in alpha by alpha plus 1 in this, I know that it's going to be 0. Okay. So I have this set up. Now I want to find a cube plus b cube plus c cube. This is where our trick from the beginning will come into play. I want to find this. Instead, I will find this. What's the advantage? I get everything in terms of those Vieta symmetric polynomials. Right? This thing by the factorization is a plus b plus c times a squared plus b squared plus c squared minus a b minus b c minus c a plus 3a b c. Fine. How do I find these things? By Vieta's. So this is what I want to find by Vieta's a plus b plus c is what? It's minus 5 by the coefficient of x which is minus 1. So it's 5. Similarly, a b plus b c plus c a is minus 6 by minus 1 which is 6 and a b c is equal to minus 3 by minus 1, which is 3. So 5, 6, and 3. All nice positive integers. You might say, how do I find a square plus b square plus c square in these terms? I'll just use the fact that a square plus b square plus c square is just a plus b plus c whole square minus 2ab minus 2bc minus 2c. Right? So finally, the thing that I want to find a cube plus b cube plus c cube is actually equal to a plus b plus c 
times a plus b plus c whole square minus 3ab minus 3bc minus 3ca right i already had a minus a minus bc minus ca and then i replaced a square plus b square plus c square by this thing 3 times ab bc ca plus 3abc you just plug in these values now right 5 6 and 3 it's what what is it? 5 into 25 minus 3 into what 6 right plus 9 this is nothing but uh 7 3 into 6 is 18 25 minus 18 is 7 5 into 7 is 35 plus 9 which is 44 right which is optionally you can check that this is indeed the right answer this is very nice and elegant it showed us that a lot of the times whenever you have these expressions involved involving the roots what you want to do is sometimes transform the polynomial in such a way that you get those sub expressions in terms of the the older coefficients that's it yep and that is all i want to say today I hope you took away the ideas that I was trying to expound on. Yeah, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Bye-bye.